We're here to tell you today, my friends, that we love you, we care about you, that there is value to your life, that we have to stop killing each other, we have to stop taking body parts and committing witchcraft so that we might commit deeds of evil, and we have to turn to a holy God, repent for our sin, humble ourselves in his sight so that he might lift us up. Jesus is coming back. Do you hear his voice calling you today, South Africa? Jesus Christ is coming back on the clouds of the sky. The time is late. The night is far spent. Don't deny him today. Choose this day who you will serve, South Africa. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There is power in his name. Walk in faith. Choose this day to find life in Jesus. Repent for your sin. Ask him to forgive you. Ask him to put his spirit in you to give you life and life more abundantly. We don't have to live in fear. I walk in faith every day because I know that my creator God is going to protect me. I know that he loves me. In his hand, my soul, I commit unto him. And we're here today for one reason. I'm here today for one reason. I'm standing before you today for one reason. I love you. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of glory, he loves you. He wants your soul to belong to him. Come around on the side. He wants your soul to belong to him. He wants you to go home today and say, my life has changed by the glory of God. He wants you to go home today and say, my life will never be the same because I've given my soul to Jesus Christ. None of us are outside the reach of a holy God. God can save anyone. You are not too far gone. Jesus loves you. He wants to show you he loves you, but you have to run to him. And if you run to him, he will love you with an everlasting love. He is king of glory. Don't go home today the same way that you came here. God has given you a divine appointment. And you can say right now, Jesus, I'm tired of running. I'm tired of living in sin. I'm tired of walking in fear. I'm tired of wondering, am I going to get killed today? Am I going to be able to provide for my family today? How many of your children are going hungry? God will supply every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I trust in that. I live by that. I walk in that. And God will take care of you, but you got to walk in faith. I love you. I don't want you to have fear anymore. I don't want you to have doubt anymore. I don't want you to wonder what's going to happen tomorrow. In the hand of God, your soul can be. So when you wake up in the morning, you can know, my God is going to get me there. I don't even know where I'm going, but I know he's leading me. I know he's going to take care of me. I know he controls the wind and the waves. If you believe that God is in control of your life, there's no reason to fear. There's no reason to worry. Anxiety cannot exist when God is in control. When you trust in God, everything goes away. Except supernatural faith, transforming faith. And He gives you a love for all people. We're leaving. He gives you a love for all people. I'm here today to tell you I feel the love of God for you today. I can tell that God is reaching out for your soul and he's saying, run to me. Repent for your sin. Believe the gospel and be saved. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you shall be saved. Stop running from God, my friends. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he has commanded us to repent for our sins. He's commanded us without Jesus, we will face eternal damnation. We will face eternal fire and brimstone in the lake of fire. I don't want that for you. I'm here because I love you and I care about you. And I don't know if anybody's ever told you this message before, but God sees you. You're not forgotten. You have value. The Bible says you were created in the image of God, but from the dust you came to the dust you return, your soul will go to heaven or hell. This is just a little case that our life force dwells in here on this earth and if you don't know Jesus you die in your sin it's down below you go down below I go without Jesus there is no respecter of persons with God we bleed the same color my friends I know racism exists in South Africa but I love you 
Even if you hate me, I love you. Because the love of Jesus lives in me. I see your soul. I see what's on the inside. And God sees what's on the inside. He sees your deepest, darkest thought. He sees the sin that you commit that nobody else sees. But He can forgive you. Trust in Him today. Say, Jesus, I'm tired of running from you. Forgive me for my sin. If you trust in Jesus, He'll change your life. I want to tell you today that we have a few Bibles. We don't have a lot. But if you don't have a Bible, you want to commit your life to Christ, and I, tr I truly feel that you're serious, I'll give you a Bible. You can take it home. We have some nice Bibles. I want your life to belong to Jesus. I want you to leave here today saying, I know that God is going to use me to change Johannesburg, to change South Africa. God can lift you up. I come from the United States, but I grew up in poverty. I know what it's like to be without. I know what it's like to be hungry. I know what it's like to not know where my next meal would come from. And so I know what it's like to not know where my next meal would come from. And you know what? God provided. He gave me a way out. He provided for me. He loves me. And so I'm saying he loves you the same way. If you would like a Bible, please come. If you know that you're ready to commit your life to God, please come. All right. Can you, can you come over here? Because I want to pray with you. If you're going to take a Bible, that's the deal. I'll give you a Bible, but I want to pray for you. Stay with you. All right. All right. Do you have a Bible at home? Okay. This is KJV. It's a little bit harder to understand, but it's a very good English version. Okay. What's your name? Catherine. God bless you. My name is Philip. Um, do, have you ever... Do you know Jesus? Have you ever prayed no, for sal yeah. You've prayed for salvation before? Yes. Okay. Do you, does your soul belong to God? Yeah. If you die tonight, are you convinced? Are you completely convinced? I'm not here to make you doubt. You're not completely convinced. So we're going to rededicate tonight and say, Jesus, today I rededicate my heart to you. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Who else would like to rededicate their soul to God? Please come. Who else would like to rededicate their soul to God? If you want to pray with us, say, Jesus, I want my soul to belong to you. Please come. We're here because we care. And God wants to change South Africa one soul at a time. You can't reach everyone, but everyone can reach someone. And you can be a change agent. Please come. One more minute. Please come. How many do we have left? Okay. Do you, all of you want to pray for salvation? Okay. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Can you thank you for being bold? Thank you for being uh, courageous. I know that it's kind of a crazy uh, environment to do this, but sometimes you have to be a little bit crazy, like I'm a little bit crazy, to come out of here because we care that much. And I don't care what people think of me. I'm desperate to reach you. And tonight it's worth it because I see all of you. And your souls are precious to God, and that's what's important to me, okay? So if you can, just raise your hand. And this is a sign of surrender to God. And we're going to speak out loud. Now I want you to understand that uh, one simple prayer doesn't save you. But there is power in this one prayer. If you mean it with all of your heart, God will not deny you. He will hear you, and He will work on your behalf. And he will do something in your life, okay? So we're going to speak life right now. All right, close your eyes and I want you to speak out loud and say, Jesus, Jesus, today I give my life to you. Today I give my life to you. I surrender. I surrender. I repent. I repent. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. My soul. My soul. My mind. My mind. And my strength. And my strength. Forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for all my sins. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. And on the third day you rose from the dead. On the third day you rise from the dead. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. Help me to love you. Help me to love you. Help me to learn about you. Help me to learn about you. And to live for you every day. And to live for you every day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
One more thing. Say, I break. I break the power of darkness over my life. The power of darkness over my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break every curse. I break every curse. Every hex and vex. Every hex and vex. Every incantation. Every incantation. And every evil deed against my family. And every evil deed against my family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover my life. I cover my life. And the lives of my family. And the lives of my family. In the precious blood of Jesus. In the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Do you feel the presence of God? Because I do. How amazing it is. Let me just pray for you real quick. I want to bless you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift up these men and women to you. Thank you, God, for giving them boldness and courage to come here and pray with us. Lord God, they could have just stayed in their seat, but you, you, you stirred something in their heart to come and speak with us. They knew that there was something that they needed to receive from you tonight. So Lord, I pray that everything you have prepared for them, all the blessings, God, that you have prepared for them, that you would just bestow it upon them right now. That you would pour out your love, your mercy, your grace. That you would break every attack of the enemy against their lives. Provide for them every day. Help them to walk in faith and not by sight. To turn from sin. To lead their family in a way that's good and honorable. And to turn away from all works of darkness. To find a church where they can be discipled. Where they can live for you. Where they can live uh, a testimony for your glory. And that all of Johannesburg might be saved through the testimony of their life. In the name of Jesus, we pray, oh God, amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Great is his faithfulness. He loves you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, little bit. All right, guys, it doesn't get better than that, man. I've seen a lot of really cool stuff. We didn't plan this. We just came down here to preach, and you could feel instantly the power of God begin to move. And uh, it just got a little bit more fiery and more loud, and uh, I probably look a little bit more crazy. And sometimes you just got to get out there and, and just step out in faith and, and be, just be bold. Uh, <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm completely amazed because we didn't expect this. We didn't plan for it. Surely didn't plan for it. We did not plan for this speaker either. I don't think half the people would have heard us tonight if we didn't have this speaker. We saw so many people respond. So many people came up to pray. You saw it. How amazing it is that we serve a good God who can just reach anyone at any time. We love him so much. One of the coolest things I've ever seen being in ministry all around the world. We've done so, uh, so many different things around the world. This is one of the coolest. Definitely at the top. Pray for us as we go through uh, this city preaching the gospel over the next four or five days. Where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. We're going to keep going. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you. God bless you. Praise God. Have a good day. Do not think that you are too lost. Do not think that you are too far gone. Because you are not. If God was able to forgive me of my sins, He can forgive anybody. What I have to tell you is that there is only one way to heaven. There is only one way to be saved. You might not care at this point. Some of us don't even think about that right now because we are too entertained or we are too distracted with the things of this world. We are distracted with problems. We are distracted with work, with money. We're trying to find the money and the job so that we can live and we can support our families. But the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all the other things will be added unto you. I can testify to that myself because I struggled for many years. And when I came to Christ, Christ gave me beyond what I could have asked for. A good job, a good life, a good family, a good wife, a house.
God knows everything. He knows your struggles. But God will let you go in your own way until you are ready to come to Him. So when you are ready to come to Him, when you are tired of being abused, when you are tired of living in this life the way you're living, when you are tired of being oppressed, when you are tired of being hungry, when you are tired of the struggles of this life, seek Him with all your heart. Don't need, don't need a pastor, you don't need a preacher. If you find a church, hallelujah, you can go to a church and give yourself to Christ. But you can also pray this out loud at, or, or, or quiet in your own time at home. You can go into a closet, you can go into your room in a corner, anywhere. God hears everything. God will hear you. And you can pray to Him and you can give your life to Christ. And if you do not believe that He exists, if you do not believe what I'm saying, then ask Him to show Himself to you. Ask Him to give you some sort of proof that He is real. And I'm telling you that God will move and He will surprise you beyond your, your beliefs, beyond your dreams. God loves all of you. God loves you very much. He wants you to be saved. Please, I pray, I pray that you will seek the Lord. I pray that you will seek Jesus Christ. I praise, I pray that you will, that you will seek God and that you give your life to Christ so that you may be saved, so that you may inherit the kingdom of God that is coming very soon. Unfortunately, before the kingdom of God is here, things have to get very bad, and things are going to get worse. I am not here to tell you, trying to scare anybody, but this is the truth, this is the reality. The Bible says it, that in the end days, things will go very bad. And I'm starting to see this stuff happen. I'm starting to see how the world is turning for the worse. I'm, seeing, I'm starting to see the world turning upside down. Satan established money in all the kingdoms, in all the states, in all the governments so that he could enslave us, so that he could make us turn away from God and always be thinking about working for money. And I'm telling you, the only way for you to be provided for is if the Lord Jesus Christ provides for you. Seek him while he still can be found. Do not wait too long. Do not wait for tomorrow because tomorrow is never promised to us. We are here today and tomorrow we never know what's going to happen. We could have an accident. We can be in the hospital and never return. Seek God today while He can still be found. God bless you. God bless you very much. I pray that you, your souls will be saved. I pray that you will repent. I pray that you will turn to Jesus Christ because he's the only way to be saved, the only way to go to heaven. If anybody wants prayer, we're going to be here. Anybody wants to pray for you, I'll be glad to pray. My team will be glad to pray. Just raise your hand and we'll come to you and pray for you. We break every attack against him right now in Jesus.